this counting video is going to be focusing on counting pairs of items and at the end we're going to do a challenge problem so let's get started so let's say there's a classroom of students in high school and there's 16 students and a teacher wants to count how many students there are without doing too much work all the all the teacher knows is that there's students in the classroom and above 10 so And X is the number of students. Of course, we know that there's 16 since, you know, we know there's 16. So, to get everyone, so the teacher's going to get everyone to hand shake hands with every single person one time. So, each student is going to shake hands with one person every one, every single time. And most people will go ahead and just, they'll just say, oh, that's the answer, we're done. Which is not really true because what what this is saying is sixteen people, which you might think it's true because it does look true that each person shakes, each person shakes hands with fifteen other people. But we can't multiply this by sixteen because here's what's ha here's what's gonna happen. One person shakes hands with another person, right? Shake hands. Now this person, if we use this method, this person's gonna do this, 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 and this person's gonna do this. They're just gonna be counting everything twice. And if if you don't believe me, let's take a look at something similar. Three people shake hands with one another. Let's see what the answer is. Now if we use this rule, if we just, you know, each person shakes hand to other people, answer six. That's wrong. Because person, this is simple to just illustrate. Person A shakes hands with person B. Person B shakes hands with person C. Person A shakes hands with person C. That's, the correct answer is just three. But if we do this way, what we're going to have is we're going to have person A, they already shake hands, and B is going to do it again. And B is going to do it here. And then C is going to do it again. And then A is going to do it again to C. So it's counting everything exactly twice. Which is something useful for us. Because all we know how to handle over counting. We just divide by the correction. Good formula right here. Over count, divide by the correction. So using O divided by C, we can now focus on the harder problem, which is 16 people. And of course, we know that 15 times 16 counts everything twice. We know from the three person example. So we divide by two, counts everything twice. We can simplify, and we can compute 15 times 8 pretty easily. So the answer is just 120. Yeah, it's, uh, that's all there is to it, you know. So we can't, 15 times 16 is doing more work for us. We don't want to count things twice. We don't want to count things twice. That's one of the things. That we don't want to do because if we count things twice that's going to give us the wrong answer and we don't want the wrong answer so that's why we divide by two every single time and this goes for any group of people if we had five people we would just do we would just do five multiplied you know five people are shaking hands with one another we do four multiplied by five five times four is twenty turned by twenty divided by two is ten so the answer is just ten so a formula for this would be x, x being the number of people, multiplied by x, minus 1, 2, that's our pair formula. Now, now that we have the basics of counting pairs of items, let's do a challenge problem. Let's finish the video off with the challenge problem. And let's say there are 28 regional tennis teams in the United States. These teams are split up into four 
regional sectors. The the Northeast, West, Midwest, and South. The Southern United States, Northern United States, Western, and the Midwestern. Each regional sector has seven teams. And then the four is the sectors. And this season, we want to know how many games will be held in total if each team within its regional sector must play every other team twice within its regional sector and every other team in every other regional sector once. So this is a multi-step multi counting pairs problem. And so the best way to solve these type of problems is using some geometry, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to express this geometrically. We're going to do this by drawing. We're going to do something by drawing something that's not a polygon. Obviously, we're just going to draw something like this. And this will make it a little bit easier to visualize. So this is basically an outline of the United States, what we would look like. Four regional sectors, so obviously I can just do a quick split off in the south to be like here. And the Midwest would be like here. West would be all over here. And yeah, so basically each regional sector, like over here, this could just be any regional sector. So each regional sector has seven teams. We have four regional sectors, of course. And 28 total. Seven times four is 28. And now each and every team will play every other team twice. We know how to handle, we know how to handle and solve these type of problems. We saw in the last example that we divide by two, but this time we won't divide by two because we're just, we have to count it twice. That's what we're asked to do. We're asked to count it twice. So when we count it twice, obviously, every other team will play every other team twice. So that's just seven times six. And that goes for every other regional sector. So we're just counting it for one regional sector. Seven times six is 42. And seven times six is 42. 42 times 4 will give us the regional sector games. And I'll actually... So I can also draw a little table and diagram because this, this would be extremely helpful in this problem. Draw table here. RS is regional sector. Then there's 42 times 4 games within the regional sectors. Now we're to count ET for each team. Now this is the tricky part. So first we can choose any regional sector, which it doesn't matter which one. Let's say we pick the southern United States, the deep south. And and we have the deep south, and we need to count the number of games between the south, the north, the midwest, and the west. So first, the the south they've 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 played they've played the entire south, and basically the team who's won the t the winning teams are gonna play every other team and go for nationals. Now. Nationals is the hardest part we're going to have to count. So, in the southern regional sector, there's seven teams. And the first team will play every other team in every other regional sector. So, let's say we have a team here. And then this other team is going to play seven teams in the north, seven teams in the west, and seven teams in the midwest. So, it'll play 20, 21 teams 
total. And the other the other regional sectors and the other the other teams in the southern regional sector will play the same thing twenty one times seven. And that's the southern regional sector one. So the southern regional sector will play twenty one times seven. The one fourth, that's 147. So 147 is the south. Now we're going to move on to the north. The north will not play the south again because they already played them. So each team in the north will play every other team in the west and the midwest. So it'll play seven teams in the west and seven teams in the midwest. That makes 14 teams. And then we have 14 teams in the no north that the north will play. Now we're going to move on to the Midwest. The Midwest will not play the north or the south again. Right? The Midwest won't play north or the south again. But only the west. And, and the first Midwestern team... Will play seven teams in the Midwest. I mean, the, the first Midwestern team will play seven teams in the West. So that goes for all seven teams. So seven times seven, that's just a 49. And we've noticed, I also made a, a little mistake here. In the North, see the North will play every other team in the other areas. So that's 14. Yeah, no. All right. So this is actually just 14 times 7, which I did not realize. Keep in mind, I'm actually like live solving this kind of, so. Sort of, I've never actually solved this problem before. So, now, 49. So, 49 will be the total number of games the Midwest will play. And now for the West, the Western team, the Western team, they already played everyone else. So it, we just add, we just add everything up. So in the, in the South, remember in the South, and we had 147 games. So 147, we need to add a 42 multiplied by the 4. But we don't need to add a 42 multiplied by the 4. We can just add on a 42 because in the south we're going to have 42. So here we're going to have and I'll actually sort of erase 90% of this. We already know how to solve the problem now. So over here we're going to first we're going to do a 42 plus 147 south and a 42 plus a 98 since 14 times 7 is 98. That's 140. And then we're going to do 42 plus a 91. And a 42 plus 49. And now, we're close to finishing. So, that's 189 plus 140 plus 91. But at the end, of course, and by the way, that's, yeah. All right. So, 42 plus 49, that's 91. So, our answer is simply... 189 plus 140 plus 91. And that's just 420. So the answer is 420. We're done. Hopefully this video helped. I have done previously a, a problem similar, similar to this, but this was totally new for me. So let me know in the comment section below what solution you guys have gotten and what solution you all have gotten.
And yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. And yeah, that's counting pairs.